In his book, Focus, author Al Reese writes, the sun provides Earth with billions of kilowatts of energy, yet if you stand in it for an hour, the worst you'll get is a little sunburn. On the other hand, a few watts of energy focused in one direction is all a laser beam needs to cut through diamonds. Can you imagine if our churches had that kind of focus? At The Unstuck Group, we talk about it in terms of alignment. We believe one of the most critical things church leaders need to do is to connect the big picture to the everyday work of their team members. When you do, everyone understands how their work aligns with the mission, vision, and goals of the church. In churches where this kind of alignment is missing though, energy and resources get dispersed in too many directions. While there may be agreement on the mission and the vision, from there, the team scatters. They may be doing good things, but when the team members pull in different directions, churches get stuck. Fortunately, alignment problems can be solved. But before we get into that, take a minute and hit the subscribe button on the screen. Here at The Unstuck Group, our goal is to help pastors like you grow healthy churches by guiding you to align vision, strategy, team, and action. With every tool and process we develop, our priority is to help churches, help people meet and follow Jesus. We're here to help you get your church unstuck. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. We use a pyramid to visually represent what needs clarity in order to achieve alignment. And just like a pyramid, alignment is built from the ground up. It looks like this. Churches can get stuck on any of the three sections of the pyramid, foundation, direction, or action. Let's take a deeper look. Your core beliefs, mission, and disciple making shouldn't change. They are the foundational essentials that define and clarify for everyone on the team why the organization exists. However, churches can get stuck on the foundational level when the way they do church becomes more important than why they do church. Or to state it a different way, they choose tradition over the mission. Churches that become insider focused and forget their core mission of reaching others and making disciples are destined for stuckness and eventually decline. The levels in the middle of the pyramid provide ministry direction. There can't be alignment further into the ministry if leaders don't provide clarity around where that ministry is headed. And while we need to hold tightly to our mission, we should remain open-handed with the vision that God has for our ministry in the future. In fact, we see churches get stuck on this level because they don't regularly refresh their direction, meaning their vision, their goals, and their strategies. In reality, the vision should be refreshed every few years, and organizational goals should be updated annually because they tie directly to the vision. Our ministry strategies need to be frequently evaluated to make sure they're still effective. Who you are as a church shouldn't change, but if you aren't willing to adapt your vision and your strategies to continue reaching your community, you'll be stuck. The top of the pyramid aligns the work of the ministry teams and the team members with the foundational and directional levels. When there's alignment, everyone in the ministry has clarity around how their roles connect to the bigger picture. Team members are in tune with what success looks like, and they're able to hold loosely to their methods and strategies and much tighter to the core mission. On the other hand, churches get stuck when these ministry priorities and individual priorities become independent from the foundation and direction. Silos begin to form. People and ministry start competing with each other for attention, time, and resources. Remember that sunbeam versus laser analogy? Success will now be defined by individuals in separate ministry areas rather than the goals of the ministry. If your vision, ministry goals, and strategies aren't clearly defined, individual priorities will become more important than the ministry goals. And the ministry goals will become more important than the health and impact of the church. Suddenly, all of that activity will become more important than the mission, which is helping people become more like Jesus. And that is how churches get stuck. To get and stay unstuck, revisit vision every few years, refresh it annually, evaluate your strategies frequently, and communicate your team's role and responsibility in the mission with clarity. Thanks so much for tuning into today's video. If you're looking to take the next step towards team alignment, one of our experienced ministry consultants would love to help your church define a path forward. To learn more, visit us at theunstuckgroup.com. 
and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more church leadership videos like this.